1997, do you yeah. see? Do you hear that? That's 1997. <laughs> when did we go to Ghana? 2010 or something, 2009? Somewhere there? 2011. 2011. 2011. There he is. I went with him. Prophet by Angel fires the whole internet and directs, you know, his warnings to Ghanaians and most especially uh, Ghanaians with higher positions in the prophetic, you know. And he says, this is a disclaimer, all right? He's disclaiming, right? He has not had any mentorship or whatsoever, tutorship or whatsoever from Prophet Kusi Bwatin. He gave the date that he convinced uh, Prophet Makandiwa, his brother, to escort him to Ghana and all that. Gave every detail that you need to know about when he started prophesying, when he started doing what he does best that we all know about. So I think this information is very much important, but the attack is most especially directed to Ghanaians. I don't know what uh, he have heard about, you know, what Ghanaians are saying about him in regards to the prophetic, but this started when he gave the prophecy, the second or third prophecy about Ghana, Ghana, Ghana's election, right? So let's go into the video. Let's pick every detail and let's carry it on. Let's go. No, 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 no. Do you know, do you know how Prophet Victor heard that I prophesied? It was when I came here and I was talking to to my brother here, Prophet Makandi, when I said, look, here, this is, this is my, he is the one, I took him to Nigeria, went together to Nigeria, to, to, uh, to Ghana. When he got there, that's when he said, this is what your son can do. And he showed Prophet Victor my videos. First time ever to go to Ghana, I went with him. That was my first time as well, as I was taking him there. I didn't show him. Prophet is the one who said, here are the videos of your son. Look at what he can do. <laughs> when I did season of the prophetic year, I had not gone to Ghana. No. Nope. Zero. I had not gone there. Yes, sir. That's the time I had to convince Prophet Magadua to go with me there. And people have no idea. They just make up ideas of their own. Oh, this is what happened. <laughs> Crazy people. This prophetic, this prophetic, my brother is there. My sister is here. She can tell you, hey, I was, I was in form, I was in A level or A level? A level. A level. Prophesying to him. Yeah, he did. To the extent where I mentioned her own husband's sister, when they were going to lose a child, what child would it be? That's very there. true. That's my sister there. She was... She's the one who took me to school. Took me through school. Paid my school fees. In a house, prophesying. Very true. Form 6. And look at the lies you hear. I wake up today, who gave me what? The prophetic. I have videos. This is my, I'm very good at keeping records. I've got videos. 1997. 1997, do you yeah. see? Do you hear that? That's 1997. Uh -uh. <laughs> when did we go to Ghana? 2010 or something, 2009, somewhere there. 2011. 2011, yes. 2011. There he is. I went with him. 2011. Then you hear some, some witch in Ghana <laughs> says, I gave Makandiwa an angel prophetic. Ah. You were not born in 1997 yourself. <laughs> Crazy people. Right now, I said some witch. Someone will say, I mean Victor Boate. Hey. Is, it, is it they want to? What is that uh, fool called? Nana. Is it Nana something? 
1997. Some of you were born in 1998. <laughs> we were already in the trenches prophesying. Ah, one time I had a, a boy here. My sister is here. Where's, where's the mic? I had a boy here. Very true, yeah. Can you give them the testimony, please? <laughs> um, I was going to Methodist Church that time. See, and these people, going you, to... no matter how prophetic you are, your sisters, <laughs> I told you, the enemies of a man. <laughs> <laughs> and he was going to family of God. So we are always arguing about the things of the spirit. And he was saying, you don't prophesy, you don't heal the, the sick, this and that. So he said, when I get into that room, he, he had a boil somewhere here. And he said, look at this. When I, get, when I get out of my room, I would have prayed and this thing would have gone. So I didn't <laughs> believe him. I just said, mm, this one. <laughs> <laughs> So I went into the kitchen to cook, and then he came into the kitchen and he said, look, my sister, look, it's now gone. I said, what is it? Then I started looking at him like, was it even there? <laughs> I was now doubting, but it was there. <laughs> and it Are you getting what I'm trying to say? It disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Zero connection. I had no mentor. No one I called father at that time. When I came here, do I tell you? Came here, we were at the, I think it's Methodist, Methodist Hall there. No mentor, no father to talk about. I was on Faith TV, you can check it out. Faith TV, bringing out prophecies on Faith TV. There was no father whatsoever. You came. No, there wasn't. Did not know one. I was busy trying to look for somebody. That was doing what I was doing. So that at least I, I, I can learn something. Or rather, if I'm messing up something, I would know, okay, I'm still doing the right thing. It's no nothing. You are lucky and blessed to have a man who can put you through the ropes. Yes, yes. When you see a mentor or a person you're calling a father saying, Kneel down here, I want to pray for you. That's not to give you what you have. Don't make the mistake. As a matter of fact, one of these um, evening services, as a matter of fact, this week, right, on our, um, on our platform, right, on Instagram and Facebook, I want you to post, with, with, yeah, I want you to post our 2007 videos. There was nobody, 2011. There was nobody. We have them. They are there. We will post one every day. Until you chalk with evidence. Ah. <laughs> Even the child she was carrying, I said, this is a boy. He will play soccer. That's very he will true. love it. That's very true. No scan back there in the 90s. <laughs> you think it's now. You have lost your brains. I remember as I was moving with our pastor here, who was one of the first pastors here, and we're walking, going to collect our results, our all-level results. And I said, pick this strand of glass, grass. He picked it. I said, count the shoots that are there. He counted and said, there are five. I said, go and pick your results. You have five subjects. <laughs> yes. That's the same Pastor Augustine you know. Hey, come on. You think it starts now? Are you crazy? I think we start today. We keep evidence. That's the problem with us. We have evidence. Are you flowing? Are you flowing? Basically, that is angry prophet by angel issuing strong, huge attacks to Ghanaians. 
all Ghanaians crazy. I mean, to, to what extent would you call Ghanaians crazy? I mean, those who are accusing him of that particular subject, on this particular topic. And, you see, the truth of the matter is, Prophet, all together with his sister, you know, gave details. Historical data as to when he started even prophesying. And that is 1997, which most of us weren't even born at the time, right? Some of us. All right? Now, the man has been doing this before he entered the nation, Ghana, 2011. Met Kusi Bwatiba. He said before then, Makandewa came to Ghana. Now he convinced Makandewa that they should come back to Ghana in 2011. But he was doing all this prophetic stuff, even on TV. Before he came to the country. Now, this is the bit that people don't know. People accuse Prophet Uber Angel that why did he change his father, who spiritual father, who from Kusi Boatin to Pastor Chris? This thing was a banter long ago, right? And so I think these things have just piled up, and he felt like, okay, now the nation is watching. Now the nation is, the nation, all the people in the nation are listening to me because I want to give a prophecy on their election. So this is a very good platform for me to issue this warning. And that is what he did, basically. But he mentioned uh, one John or something like that. I looked I looked the guy up, but I couldn't find anything. Um, let me see. Um, yeah. He mentioned a name, right? He mentioned a name. I don't know that is a pastor who is accusing him lately on that. But, you see, this is a blueprint that has been given everybody. I started prophesying before I came to Ghana in that period. Like, simple and short. This is a man's grace. All right? Talking about him in that manner wouldn't put food on your table. So, I mean, let's just shut up and allow people to be. Oh, this person helped this one and the person is not grateful and all that. Because that's the picture they are painting. And even issue the disclaimer. Okay, this is what I'm saying. People will start saying, okay, I meant, you know, Kusi Boatin. Meanwhile, he didn't even say that, right? So that's basically the blueprint of Prophet Uber Angel's prophetic career. And I think you have it. And I'm breaking it down in a way that you really understand. If you have any suggestion that you want to make, or anything about this particular video that you want me to know, you know my WhatsApp handle, push it there. I wouldn't frown upon it, guys. So my name is Shodanese. Make sure you subscribe, share, like this video, man.